Yo, 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 welcome to the vlog. We're at my casa. That's a for sale sign. Yes, my house is for sale. This is a life update, guys. My girlfriend's back in Australia. <sighs> life is busy, got supplements going on, gotta work out, got some exciting news. But first and foremost, the house is being sold. I'm kind of sad about it, but I'm kind of not too, because I'm gonna build and it's gonna be epic. I'm gonna build a gym in the house. Steve, if you own a gym, why would you build a gym in your house? Because when you own a gym, it's more work. People wanna talk to you. People come in from out of town. Sometimes you just wanna wake up and go out to your garage and get an awesome workout. What's better than a garage gym? A gym in your house that you've built. So that's what I'm hoping to do. Let's go inside. We've been cleaning it up. Let's go check out the house, see what Hobbs is up to, and then I'll give you guys kind of a life update. Welcome to the vlog. Oh, you got a rough life. You got a rough, don't look at the camera. They're, they're, they're not here to save you. It's just me and you, pal. Me and you since Morgan's gone, okay? No more, oh, I miss mom. Oh, mom, give me food. Dad, where's mom? She's gone. She left. Hopefully she comes back though. Hobbs is legit freaking sad with Morgan being gone because she used to play, she actually played rougher with him than I did. So he's just kind of like, Mopey. Hey, she's gonna be back and she's gonna bring your big sister. Yeah, that's right. You're getting a sister. You're getting a sister. You know this one? You know this one? Ah, that's my dude. That's my dude. So Morgan has a, uh, a black lab that when she moves over here for good, she's gonna bring her, her black lab. So Hobbs is not gonna be an only child and I don't know how you're gonna deal with that because he's kind of a little bit needy he thinks he should get into the bed. I don't know where he got this sense of entitlement. I definitely raised him better than that. Maybe not. And you have a freaking tempur bed. Will you share that bed with your sister? Because it's absolutely ginormous. Yeah, that's a dog bed. Tempur-Pedic. Tempur-Pedic. <sighs> this is what Morgan would do. You're such a baby. Ready? Go, 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 go! Okay, good now. Oh, I know, I know. So this is, yeah, you guys have seen my house. We don't need to do a house tour. I've had to clean up. I'm gonna have to continue to clean up because I got a lot of stuff. I got a lot of gym shirt clothes, got a lot of shoes. All this stuff, when you sell a house, apparently you need to make it look like you don't even live there. So, the kitchen's looking good. Besides those bananas over there. Besides that this cup. Don't have a lot picked out. We'll look at one of those maybe today. And uh, Alec had a car when he was here. Well, it was my car that I let him drive. I need to sell that car. And then I need to take the Polaris. Yeah, you guys know the Polaris. We've taken that out a bunch. I'm gonna be taking that up to combustion in Salt Lake and just getting it decked out. I cannot wait to show you guys that video. We haven't filmed it yet, but I'm sure it's gonna be awesome. So we got a lot of things going on. And then, like I said, supplements, Gymshark, so much to be done in such a little time. But now that Morgan is gone, I cry myself to sleep every night, but I have no excuse not to just work, 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 work. Poor girl's been in in isolation. If you guys are wondering why she left, she had to go back because her visa expired. So she was here for like four months. Was supposed to only be here for two months, but because of COVID, she went back. They quarantined her for 14 days in a hotel. They picked her up, put her on a bus, police escort, got to this hotel. She can't leave, so we FaceTime a lot. We read throughout an old married couple. So, yep, we gotta go first and foremost. Let's go taste supplements. We got a, we got a lot of, uh, other people's supplements in here, mainly because we've had companies send us stuff saying, hey, join our supplements, join our supplements. But we're doing our own supplements. And so today we're tasting, can we say the flavor? Well, I don't know if you even say the name, but yeah, sour lemon lime skittles. Sour lemon lime skittles. Yeah, that definitely won't be the name, but that's what they're supposed to taste like. It's a, it's a, it's a pre-workout. I think it's gonna have, do we know exactly how much caffeine we want yet? 200 milligrams or so? Right now we're 200. 
And we're gonna have a stem. Oh, that's pretty good. Ooh, it is. More sour, right? It is more sour. That was our complaint the first two times. If it's gonna be a sour, if sour is gonna be in the name, it needs to be sour. We're gonna have a stem free pre workout because I probably do stem free workouts, I'd say three days of the week. I always do coffee in the morning, besides coffee. I don't get a ton of caffeine, unless it's a big leg day, a back day, or if I'm just dragging ass. But if, Dad, if you're watching, dragging butt. What's that from? Thumbs no. Down. Yes, good job. Tic tac, sir. So this is sour lemon lime Skittles B. We got two different options to go with here. Definitely like A better. You like A better? Yeah. I just plug it. It's like a bitter aftertaste to me. That's why I didn't like A better. Yeah, I like A better. Well, pre-workout can't go to waste. That's blasphemy. Oh yeah, I was gonna talk about when we're launching. Should we say that? No. Hopefully sometime in 2020. We really would like to do like maybe September-ish, if people, it all kind of depends on Corona. Thanks, Corona. How many of you guys just do this? Full scoop in the cup, a little bit of water, mouthwash it. That was warm water. Woo! Hopefully coming out to you guys in September. I'd like to do a little road trip, but we'll see what Corona's got going on with that. Yo. Bro. I just got sent some some teas. I come to the gym and I treat the gym kind of like as my second house, especially because mine is for sale. Um, so stuff's kind of everywhere. Got some t-shirts that people sent me. I also needed FaceTime Morgan because she just woke up. Hi. Hi. Good, how are you doing? You sound very somber. Yeah, they didn't give me dinner last night. What? If anyone in the State Department watches my video, State Department in Australia, you guys didn't give my girlfriend dinner last night, okay? You guys have put these people in a hotel for 14 straight days, can't even leave, don't even have windows that open up to the outside air, no breeze, no kitchenette. They either have to eat the, the crappy food that they're given, microwavable or DoorDash every night. So I'm sorry, babe, you should never have left. Hi, hi everyone. Yeah, it's been a real busy day. The house is officially up. The sign is in the yard. It's a little bit messy. I'm just gonna move a bunch of stuff into the garage. Some of your stuff too, probably, sorry. <laughs> she left. I see. She I left a lot of stuff. She left a lot. What, you still got a lot of stuff there. You got a whole, you got a whole cupboard of just shoes. Morgan and I also have a business venture that we've officially started. I paid the account to get it started, to get all the samples and everything, so you guys are gonna have to stay tuned on that. I told them that we are launching a business together, but I didn't tell them what yet. Any ideas you guys think what it is? She's Australian, I'm American. I would have smacked you so hard on the bottom. You would have smacked me on the bottom? You would have spanked me? You would have spanked me, babe? All right, well, I'll let you go. Um, how many more days in this hotel hellhole do you have? Five, not five days. And you've been there how long? Eight? Nine. Nine? Oh my gosh. All right. <laughs> All right, have a good day. Okay, love you, bye. All right, we're gonna go work out, I promise. I just had to get on a one call regarding that project Morgan and I have started, that business, and you guys can't listen to that one because Morgan's gonna kill me if I announce it and we're not together. So we gotta wait for us to get back together somewhere in the future, somewhere in the world, but it's gonna be awesome. And it's something you guys have asked repeatedly for. So time out. I'll meet you downstairs. A few inches later. All right, on the sizzle program, summer sizzle we got going on right now. It actually ends in two days, if you guys are watching this on Friday. But what we got going on is you can do any program in the fitness culture app. We got at home, in the garage, or minimal workout, or in the gym if your gym is back open. And it's a transformation challenge. So it's not a get lean challenge, it's just a transformation. So if that's adding muscle, great. So we have prizes for the winner, about $20,000 worth of prizes. Today is my shoulder day, and then sprint bike intervals. We're gonna do 
warm up and then we got some pressing, some lateral raises, some front raise. There's a lot of shoulders, let's jump into it. little sample of some of our protein now and then be done for the day 521 I got emails to do I got a house to go clean up maybe even sit by the pool and enjoy that pool before I say sayonara to the house I guess we could stop at that lot one hour later French Bulldogs definitely overheat when it's more than 80 degrees out. Hobbs is in the car, the car is running. Dad has the air conditioning on. Never leave your dog in a hot car. I will, I will bust you, I will punch you with this turquoise ring. Shout out to the Navajo Nation, Brandon, looking this up. It's an authentic turquoise ring. All right, so this is a lot that I've had my eye on. 0.8 acres, gosh it's hot. Kind of, you know, kind of here in the middle of St. George. Good view. Older neighborhood. I'm sure there's scorpions up to high heaven here. But if you know anybody who does excavation in St. George and wants to be shouted out on my YouTube channel. <laughs> Look, they're doing excavation up there. Really suck if one of those rocks came loose and just took out your house. There's a red stake like 30 yards away. That's the top of the lot. I'd want it like the house to go out like this and then block the sun as it yeah. sets right there. But yeah, it's a big old lot. And then, or you could do like a cool like rock slide into a pool back here. That would be know. super gnarly. Doesn't that look pushed down? Oh yeah. Something sleeping there? I don't know what the heck would be that big. <laughs> Driveway to be here. Build garages, boom, 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 here to block your view of this house, but low enough to where it doesn't block your view of the city. And then walkway, walkway above this to your house. <laughs> That'd be nice. What am I, 10 years old right now? That's a lot. There's not a ton of lots in St. George, Utah right now, but it's one that fits my size. I want 0.5 acres to an acre. I would love something with a view. So this has both of those things, but this lot would be a pain in the butt to get ready to build, so. But first, I need to go home and get my house all ready to sell. There's a sign in my yard, it's up for sale. I just gotta get it all ready to show. So if someone calls up and says I need to come look at it, I could make sure my room is tidy. I'm gonna put things into the garage and my house is basically just gonna be me and Hobbs living very carefully for the next however long till it gets sold. Oh, it's hot. I'm definitely stopping at this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 